It's a master and an apprentice. In store for 2023? Yay! Let us know in the comments. For fans of Star Wars, there has never been a greater moment. Of course, I wouldn't mind traveling through the world between worlds to see the first film on its premiere night. However, as that is not going to occur anytime soon, I will concentrate on the present. I had the good fortune to attend this year's Star Wars celebration, which was full of fascinating news. As Daisy Ridley emerged to thunderous applause and a new film centered around Rey was revealed, the energy in the celebration stage was tangible. Then there's a movie from Indiana Jones and Dial of Destiny director James Mangold that will investigate the Force's beginnings. And my personal favorite project is a movie from Ahsoka architect Dave Filoni that will connect the Disney Plus series. After it appeared like the majority of the previously announced projects were stuck in development hell, these three announcements gave the Star Wars movie slate the much-needed boost of excitement. And as it happened, this was just the start. I will always remember this as the year of Filoni when I look back. I'm happy that Filoni was recently promoted to Chief Creative Officer. Filoni is the only person I can think of who knows Star Wars better than George Lucas, which makes sense given that Filoni was effectively Lucas's Padawan. The galaxy can only become richer under Filoni's direction. Just take a look at all the lore introduced in the Clone Wars and Rebels, which includes mystical Loth wolves and the ethereal realm of Mortis. Filoni has more than proven his creative abilities with each of his projects, pushing the galaxy far, far away into fascinating new directions. The fact that someone is in charge of managing the enormous franchise is also comforting, since it should simplify storytelling and keep that enormous canon cohesive. Since someone is in the captain's chair, it appears doubtful that the previous film will be ignored, which is a common critique of the sequel trilogy. In addition, Filoni's Ahsoka soared to the top of my list of favorite Star Wars TV shows because it gave us the best Anakin Skywalker ever, revealed new details about who can use the Force and become a Jedi through Sabine Wren, and brought back Grand Admiral Thrawn. More reasons to be excited for Filoni's film. What are the storylines are connected in Filoni's film? The Mandalorian Season 4, or a potential Ahsoka Season 2, the dramatic finale, which featured Thrawn's menacing return to the galaxy, Ezra Bridger sneaking back to Hera Syndulla, Ahsoka and Sabine stranded on Peridia, and Balin's skull on an enigmatic mission of his own, is also an exciting launchpad for the future.